It's all right, boy. It's just a possum. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Hey. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. What is it, Mo? Huh? What is it, huh? <coughs> Watch him, Mo. Watch him. Good boy. All right, guys, I know it's kind of dark and you guys probably can't see me, but uh, it's actually nighttime <clears throat> and Mojo was going crazy barking and we came outside and looked and he actually had a possum cornered over here. I don't know if the possum was trying to get into our chicken pen or what, but it, it keeps coming towards the house. Now it's trying to find its way out of our yard, but uh, Mojo would not leave its side. He just kept barking. Luckily, he didn't kill it because... These possums are actually good animals to have around. If you guys remember earlier last summer when we had Polly, uh, Rachel's trying to shine a flashlight on it. We had Polly, a little possum. We tried to, we uh, tried to raise it up, and uh, one day I was out here mowing, and I think I seen its mom. Anyways, it's a long story. I returned it back to the wild, and uh, this isn't her because she only had one eye, but we thought it could have been her. But anyways. I just wanted to kind of catch this on film, catch Mojo in the act of actually doing his job and protecting the farm. He don't want this thing anywhere close to our house or our goat barn or the chicken pen. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. Mojo, good boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk back towards the house, okay? I'm going to see what you do. He ain't gonna do nothing. He's just gonna sit here and watch it all night until it leaves. So I'm gonna try to grab hold this thing and get it over the fence. So uh, don't have to worry about Mojo trying to kill it. Well guys, it's the next day. And as you can see, the hero here, Mojo, loves his new bed. Everybody wanted to know how the new bed was working out for Mojo and it is doing awesome. He uh, has been getting a lot of Z's on there. As you seen in the video last night, he spends a lot of time, he spends all night <clears throat> protecting us protecting the goat herds protecting everything here on the farm from predators so in the daytime he tries to catch up with his sleep because a lot of the predators are nocturnal like you guys know you know big guy you ready to do a little interview huh you ready to do an interview you are a great dog you know that you're a big asset to the farm daisy's a big asset to the farm and I got a little treat in my pocket for you if you want to come out here and uh, talk about it. What do you think? Really, Dad? You're going to make me get up? <laughs> here. If you'll come out here, I got some more for you. Come on. I might just have to get down here and do the little interview next to him. He worked hard last night, so that's just what I'm going to do. Let me set the camera up. Alright. <clears throat> Come on, Mom. Yeah, you deserve your belly rub. Yeah. Alright, guys. Ugh, let me get down here with him. So, <clears throat> I didn't plan on making this video today, but as you seen last night, Mojo was going crazy because the possum was out in the yard. It was over at the chicken pen towards our other goat pen where our white barn is, 
where the chickens roost. And uh, Mojo started barking at it and this and that. And then by the time we actually got outside, it started coming closer to the house because the new fencing we have up, the 4x4 four four squares, it couldn't get through it. I don't know where it came in at. Uh, we do have part of our property that is the field fencing that has the bigger holes. So I'm sure that's how it came through. But uh, I think we made a mistake because... Before I actually grabbed the camera and once Rachel came out here, she's the one that actually came out with the light and noticed the possum. Uh, we both started telling Mojo, no, don't do anything, leave it alone. And I think that's where we made a mistake. I don't know if it's a mistake or not. We didn't want him killing the possum. But by telling him no, that is a, a command that he knows. Most of all of our dogs know the word no if we say no they usually quit what they're doing <clears throat> and that's a good command for dogs to learn but in this case um if you guys have been following us a while last summer um i found a little possum that had one eye and it was just a little baby possum going across their driveway and i ended up bringing it home and we we raised it for oh, a couple weeks or so and fed it it was uh i mean it was just a little 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 guy or girl, I don't know, his name was Polly, if you guys remember. But anyways, we raised it up and we returned it to its mom, what I think was his mom, is out here mowing. A possum come up to the fence one day and I seen it, I ran in the house, I grabbed a little possum and I brought it back and I put it out there by the woods with its mom and hopefully it followed it and all that, I don't know. But last night we were just thinking, you know, I think we made a mistake. Because we started telling Mojo no, we didn't want him to kill the possum, but... By doing that, are we teaching him that if there is a threat in the yard to not go after it or not kill it? I don't know. I mean, we're not dog experts by no means. But the system that we got right now has been working out very well well for us. <clears throat> but uh, Rachel and I was kind of talking this morning and last night. I think we made a mistake by telling him no. Um, that is his job to protect us no matter what. But then you start thinking, you know, what if there was a kid, what if there was a lost kid walking up the road or something that got lost coon hunting with his family or his dad or something happened to his grandpa or something and we were the first light he seen and he walked up to our yard. If strangers come into our yard, Mojo is pretty aggressive and, uh, you know, if you see a kid walking through your yard and Mojo's going crazy, of course you're going to tell him no. You don't want him to attack a child or anything like that. So it's just a, it's a weird deal. Uh, everybody's going to have their own opinion, I know. But I really think the right thing to do was to probably just try to run out there real quick and grab Mojo so he didn't attack him instead of saying no. We probably should have did something a little different maybe. But it all worked out. And uh, I'm sure if another... Um, I'm not going to call the possum a predator... But I'm sure if another animal that does not belong in our yard or on our farm comes through the fence or gets in our yard, I'm sure he's not going to hesitate to bark. I'm sure that one time's not going to run him. I got more snacks in my pocket, yes. Yes, I do. But, I don't know. What do you guys think? What would have you done in that situation? Would you let Mojo go ahead and destroy the possum? simply saying it or would you call him off um you know if it was a coyote or a bobcat or maybe another predator like that you know i would probably wouldn't have said a word i would have just kind of sat back and watched what he'd done and let him do his job and maybe it's just because we have soft feelings for possums that we feel that we shouldn't have said no i don't know guys that's just something that was on our mind i wanted to share it with you guys um Maybe it's something to think about. If you guys, if any of you guys out there have livestock guardian dogs, um, maybe it's something to think about. It was just one of those spur of the moment things. It was late at night. It was super dark. You come outside and your dog has got something cornered over there that's in your yard. It's in his territory, and he's about to uh, he's about to uh, do away with it. Simply saying. So I don't know. Just uh, another adventure, right, Mojo? You did, you did what you were supposed to do. You didn't get in trouble, but guess what? You guys seen us. So this goes back to a video we did a while back with Daisy. He's shedding all over me. That's the bad thing about these great Pyrenees. Look at him. He wants me to pet him. They shed so bad. But 
we rewarded him. In the video, you seen Rachel come outside and she actually gave him some treats. Just like I got right here in my pocket. I got two more left. I'll break them in half. Yeah. So we rewarded him and hopefully, you know, he realized, hey, I did a good thing. Next time a weird animal like that comes in my yard, I'm going to do it again. And my family's going to bring me bones or snacks or jerky snacks or whatever. But that is where these, that's where these Pyrenees and uh, any of the livestock guardian dogs that has been doing this for thousands of years, I promise, guys, this is bred into their instinct. And I'm not saying that other dogs won't do it. I'm sure if you got German Shepherds or all, any other kind of dogs like that, anything that comes into the yard that is out of norm, they're going to attack it. They're going to bark and let you know. But it's just uh, this is what his job is. And the nice thing is, is he stays out there with the goats usually at nighttime. But in this sense, he was actually, <laughs> he, he kept getting between our house and the possum. So it was like he was protecting us in a sense. I think that's what he felt anyway. He didn't want that possum going into the chicken pen, just like he didn't want that possum coming to our house, his owner or his people's house, because he knew it didn't belong. And to me, that is awesome instincts of any canine or any security dog or whatever you want to call him. In this case, it's our livestock guardian dog. And uh, he did he did a perfect job. You want to shake? You shake? Hmm? Shake? You can't shake when you're laying down, can you? So uh, I just wanted to get on here and make this video and kind of kind of give you guys our opinions and thoughts. And uh, I'm eager to see what you guys think. Do you guys think we made a mistake by telling him no, or do you think we did the right thing? And I hate to see anything like a possum or just you know a stray cat or anything get eaten up. But our old dogs, um, well, actually Daisy and Bear, or back when we had Bear, our last Great Pyrenees. If you guys go back to some of our older videos from about two years ago, you'll see another big white dog, and that was Bear. We had him for several years. One time I went to hook on to one of the equipment trailers, and when I started going forward with it, a cat ran out, and she ran right into the pen where Daisy's at, and at that time Mojo was in there. Because we only had one goat herd at that time, and they tore the cat up. There was nothing I could do, even if I wanted to do, they tore it up. It, it just, fur was flying, it took just a few seconds. And I hate for that stuff to happen, but sometimes animals get in the wrong place. As you know, wander around, just like the possum, they like to eat cat and dog food and kind of wander around people's houses. And I think it's just one of those things that sometimes it just can't be avoided. And uh, they don't do the wrong thing. They're actually doing their job, so you can't discipline them for it. But that goes back to where I was telling him, no, do not attack the possum and I just don't know if that was the right thing but anyways guys let me see I got half a treat here oh I gotta get up Ugh. you like this bed huh it sure is soft as just like a uh, mattress so we've had a few people asking about this bed and where we got it Rachel actually found it on Amazon if I can remember I will try to put the link to this bed down in the description it's just like a mattress that humans use for their beds. It's probably six to eight inches thick. It's got ledges on both sides that, are, that act like pillows. And it has this removable cover that you can throw in the washer and wash it. And so far it's holding up really well. He sure loves it. I don't have no more treats, buddy. But anyways, guys, we're going to sign off. we got a lot of stuff to do today. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this video and the video last night that... Mojo was uh, protecting our farm from the possum, you might say. And uh, we'll see you next time. Good boy. You can go back to sleep now. Ugh.